In this video, we're going to talk you through how to register your Travis device and sync your conversations onto your Business Edition website. So the first thing you want to do is make sure your Travis has been updated to the latest version. To do this, you just connect to Wi-Fi and follow the prompts for any recent update. Next, jump onto your web browser and you're going to go to business.travistranslator.com. Here, we'll scroll down and where it says new to Travis, we're going to hit sign up. Now we just enter our registration details. And from here, we just hit the orange button, sign up. This is going to send us uh, an activation. So if you head to your email, you'll find an activation from Travis and you want to click activate account. It says successfully verified and we click here to log in. So we'll log in with those details. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is if you hit devices on your web browser, you'll see you can add a device. Now you have the option to name your device. So we're going to name it Travis1 and enter a registration code. Now to find your registration code, go into the main menu by double tapping the top button, tap down until you get to sync to account. Now you're going to tap the middle button. So step one, create an account. We've done that, so we'll click next. And we've got a registration code here. So we type that in and click add. Okay, so we can see our device is in there now. I'm going to click done on Travis, sync successful. So if I go home, we can now see our last conversations and we can click OK. Now anytime that you want to resync your conversations to the website, you just tap this sync to account and click sync and it will resync. Conversations whenever you refresh the page. So, just as a cap off, in devices, that's where you can add your device. In home is where you can see your previous conversations from the language they're going in, so English, and to the language they're being translated to. So, here and with a date and time also. So that's all. If there's any questions, don't forget to email us at support at Thanks.